What's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. I'm a brand new video, YouTubers tier list, ranking, worst to least, whatever the title is in the video. Hopefully you have your favorites in here, it'd be kind of fun. And I'm just ranking some popular gaming YouTubers logos and just kind of putting them in a little tier list chart. And uh, hopefully it's just fun and easy and easy going. If your YouTuber, your favorite YouTuber is in here for the record, I don't hate, this is literally not valuing content. It's strictly just logos. And uh, I have, I feel like I've, all of them have like a significant side of like, you know, a significance like popularity kind of thing so hopefully just for the record i have to figure out how to way to like actually get some okay good ratings and like value it from like a, a higher tier to a lower tier ish kind of thing so regardless let's see how this works and uh, let's get this thing started all right so let's go ahead and get this thing started so of course i have my logos down here we're gonna be ranking dr suspect tim the tap man shroud dr lupo ali a swags Let's get this thing started. I'm gonna start off with uh, Dr. Suspect. And to be fair with you, it's a pretty solid logo. Like, I guess the idea of his logo is, of course, his branding is basically this Dr. Disrespect kind of character he's portraying. Um, this works. I mean, there's something like crazy too special about it, but for the record, it's just it just makes sense. It's him, it's his branding. You can easily tell it's his logo, very specific and unique to him. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna throw this into, it's strong. It's strong, it's strong. It's definitely an A. A is a good, A is good for this. I'm gonna say this is an A. Okay, let's go with A. All right, next up is Tim the Tapman, and he just recently branded from that kind of like lion wing thing, which was honestly way too weird. Um, This is a little bit more, I think, like more stylistic and also can put on merch stuff like that i think this is super super strong like for one it's like grit and grunge i feel like if you read the name tim the tap man you're gonna think like some kind of like big bro like all you get is like some squeezy teddy bear but that works that works for him also pair with his uh to his text logo it looks really really dope so for me i think it's also strong enough for me to throw into the a rank s is gonna be a little bit difficult i feel like it had to be like some kind of extraordinary they're all extraordinary in their own way, of course, but I just feel like A is a really good vibe for me. I'm feeling it. I'm also gonna make my own rule. If I feel like I, I kind of mix things up and kind of like if I value one more after another logo I do or rank, I'm gonna, of course, fix things. But I think it's super, super strong. It looks good. Okay. Now, next up is Shroud. Another person also rebranded about a year ago or so uh, from like this sort of like ghost S logo, which like looked really weird. I guess the idea of a Shroud ghost kind of thing, it worked out for that time being. But I think nowadays, YouTubers and stuff like that are looking for like branding that works with merch very very easily and like more stylistic and more kind of like not stylistic simplistic to work on clothing that people would actually wear so for me when I look at this I'm like shroud okay I have the nice little simple kind of typeface a very fun techie kind of vibe and then you kind of have like the crosshair which is very much like shroud you think aim shroud like kind of that stuff you know you got like a little bullseye kind of pointing arrow at the shroud in the middle or the uh, the, the aim in the middle it makes sense it works it's clean and personally, I think this is going to be very well deserving of an A as well. I feel like it's, you know, I think it's there. I think these three, I'm like pretty happy with being an A right now. No S's yet, but I'm sure S's will definitely come. All right, so next up is Dr. Lupo, in which I think his logo is actually pretty cool, right? You kind of have this D, of course, and that L is basically highlighted being white, right? You got the Dr. Lupo DL kind of idea. Then you have this fun little sort of like heartbeat um, monitor thing going on in the middle. It's dope. It's cool. Like, there's like something, there's something missing for me personally. I think immediately the first thing I can notice and say is like this middle portion here. It's, it's, it works. But if I were to zoom this thing out, right, to the point, all you gotta basically see is this kind of Z in the middle. I feel like the line and like the heartbeat itself needs to be a little bit more thicker. I feel like it just needs some kind of thickness because when you do zoom out, you kind of see LZD. And I, this, it's not a Z at all, but unfortunately, the, the angle of the heartbeat makes it look like a Z. If the line stopped right here, this line right here was not here. Same thing with this this right here if this is kind of like zoomed up like boom i think that would also make it a little more cleaner as well could i could be wrong it could look really weird maybe you need that extension line but not as as, as like hard as this is on the bottom right i think we're gonna throw this into the b column it's a great logo it's a good logo it's like a standard logo i think it can easily look 10 times better and easily be in the a column um, but yeah, so if there's any logo designers out there who would think to like uh, rebrand something or like give a little update to one of your favorite creators and Dr. Lupa happens to be one, this is a great one and an easy one I feel like to really execute really, really perfectly and uh, get it right for him. So just, you know, throw that out there. So uh, let's go to move on. Ali A. So Ali A logo, super iconic, right? All these logos are basically like, iconic in their own way. But for me, the moment I saw it, I liked it. What made it cool for me was a gradient. This idea of the gradient being this cool little bezel, I feel like is when I first in like saw this, and that's when like gaming logos, all you saw was this gradient right here, and that's it. But to me, I think like, it looks more like a P. Maybe I'm just trying to be too weird or too extra, but yo, 
it's a great logo. It's a cool logo. It makes sense. I get it. It's Ali A once, but if you take it away, if my homie's name was Ali P, this would still work. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, like I, I, ha I have to be super picky for this to be kind of fair in a way. If I'm being completely honest, this to me goes in the B tier. Yeah. I when I look at this, I'm not, I'm not like, ah, should it be in the A tier? I'm kind of like, it is definitely deserves to be in the B tier. I don't know if it deserves to be in the A tier. Like, I'm going to say Ali A, B, and we're going to the next one. So this over here is Swag. So Swag is Face Swag, Warzone streamer, and YouTuber, stuff like that. And his logo is actually pretty dope, to be fair. It's like a monogram crown-esque kind of idea. However, the first thing I'm going to immediately point out and notice is the thickness between his lines here. I don't know if you guys ever play, like, paid attention to this kind of stuff, right? But the thickness between this, 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 all of that's different for some reason. And that is not just the logo uh, like I got from YouTube or got from Google. Even on the controller, his like scuff control that he was selling, this is also not like a blast or anything to him. It's just sometimes branding doesn't like, you know, get communicated in that kind of way. But the logo itself is also still that weird thickness. And it's just, it just throws off the idea of this monogram idea. And it just makes it look super awkward. I don't know, I, awkward is the word I want to say. I could be wrong here, but for me, I'm going to put this in the... Oh God, this is, I, I think I'm comfortable with this being the B tier, but also for being realistic, right? It doesn't really have much toward swag the person, right? I feel like swag, I, a crown and swag, I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand, but not really. There's no real kind of like draw to the actual person, right? Swag to the actual logo branding. So for me, I think it's general enough to be in the B tier. It's not a terrible logo. It's not a terrible idea. The execution though could be a lot better. And uh, I can definitely see that rebrand in the future, but and we're gonna move on. Let's let's just say that. Now, purposely I did this. I'm gonna have next up Scump, which is also another S logo plus a crown idea going on. So for me, this is one that has a lot more personality. At least we have like the thickness between the lines here, the cuts as well, right? But all the thicknesses are nice and perfect and, and it makes sense. Uh, and then of course the crown itself has a lot more personality, a different idea of a crown uh, and doesn't like, you know, you know, is it a crown? Is it not a crown? So I think this logo here easily for me deserves to be in an A spot. I think it's nice enough. It has a nice fun characteristic. It also can easily work on merch as well. It's a nice, uh, a cool icon. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this being the A tier. Let's say A tier scump logo, B tier swag. I think it makes sense. I think it's fair. And let's move on to Nick Merckx. Now, Nick Merckx also went on a revision or like a rebrand for his logo. And I, I know the person actually made this logo here. It's Vortech. Um, and the original Nick Merckx logo is a little bit too kind of like I mean, it was mascotty, but did it work as an icon as well? And I, I like the change here. Now, the reason why I chose this picture specifically though to showcase it is the idea of, of course, there is line work here, right? It's not just looking like this. It's like a mascot logo with like, you know, like, like your team mascot logos, but also it works as like an icon where if you wanted to, if you just made this entire thing white, you could, and you can easily still see like uh, the, the shapes and all that good stuff of his logo and helmet and stuff like that. And I also think it deserves to be in the A tier. I think this is an easy A tier logo. It makes sense. The rebrand as well for me, if, if I'm honest, the rebranded logo of Nick Merckx or the previous version would probably be in a B tier. So I'm going to say A tier for this one. It's a really good execution. Damn near perfect. But I don't know if it's S tier worthy because there might be someone out there who doesn't really like this style. That's fair. This is my opinion. If I'm honest, the more I'm looking at this and it just might be, I feel like Shroud almost deserves to be in the S tier. I don't know what it is about the idea of the shroud clean kind of like the simplistic using his crosshair as the logo and the idea of him being really good at aiming things like that it almost feels like that deserves to be in the s tier and if i'm honest i just might move it i think i'm gonna move shroud to the s tier after looking at this logo and the idea behind it with all these other logos it just feels a little bit kind of like in a different tier i can't tell you why exactly that's just how i feel and i'm comfortable with it moving and i'm gonna move these over here but let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is Jack Septicai. Ooh, okay. Now I gotta be careful. This is a great individual. This is a, literally a legend on YouTube. But bro, this is something easily you can tell if anyone's out there, like a graphic designer from like the esports community, or even just regular graphic designer from anywhere. 2011, 12, 13, there was like a grunge era, right? You can tell this was made in that era. I don't. That's like so bad. To say. But you can tell that it just, it just doesn't belong in this era anymore. Bro. Uh, I'm just gonna say nothing else. It, 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 I think it's easily in the D tier. There's a universe where you can make a really cool like logo icon, like Jack Septic Eye or a Septic kind of eye. Easily, easily. There's no shot. There's no shot. He can't do it. Um, that's a D tier for me. And let's just move on. Let's move on. All right. So next up is Vanos, which I think personally 
This is a great logo. This is honestly a really, really dope logo. It's looking good. Like the spacing's all there. You can also have this little sort of like personal touch where you have the, uh, the V in the actual head of the icon. Um, it works perfectly. Also, the owl itself is very, very, how do you say, like a staple in his branding. Like if you look at all of his like, you know, GTA videos or whatever, that's that skin. That skin he always has the mask on. Uh, I don't know, I don't know where it's from personally, but it's iconic, right? It's also iconic to him and he's using that iconic feature as his like logo and it makes perfect sense. That honestly deserves to be in the S tier. For some reason, I feel like it just makes it, it's so, it's so perfectly him and so iconic and he sticks with it. And I think like, okay, we're okay with this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right. So next up would be Courage JD. Now, Jack, if you're watching this video, no hard feelings. Love the logo. And anyone else is watching, you might, you got to stick with me for a second. Okay. This logo is super, super, super dope, right? You got the lion mascot looking really cool, almost iconic or not. It is iconic in its own way, but I mean more of an icon rather than just like a mascot, kind of like too many highlight kind of things. Now, if I, I have to say it, right, I feel like I need to make some sort of way to make sure that I distinct, distinctively, excuse me, like separate these logos in its own way. The more I look at this logo, right, and the idea behind it being Jack, courage, like courage JD, like, you know, courage, the actual word and like the line go together. Sure. But I don't know if like Jack Dunlop courage goes together with this logo as much as I would like it to. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's personal because it's his logo, but it's not personal, personally his. Does that make sense? I just feel like the, it's like a mask almost to not like his personality, but it's just a mask over him that works perfectly because it's a great design. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why it's not going an S tier here. It's going to be going an A tier. It's a great logo. Great. I, you know, I was probably like hyping it way or not. I was like kind of almost down. I feel like you're going to, you, a lot of you guys already thought I was going to put in like B or C or D. I was not down tiering it. I was just trying to give the idea of why it's on an S tier for me. I feel like an A tier for me, that makes sense. Let's go on to the next one. And just like that, we are at the PewDiePie logo, the iconic bro fist. Bro, if I'm being completely honest, this might be one of the better logos on YouTube. Overall, the branding as well, like the lines stuff like that, like his line pattern, it also is like, it's kind of like super sporadic and, and it, it's almost basically him, right? It makes sense why he chose that line pattern. Now, secondly though, he's, he's also a fellow designer. He was a designer before he was a YouTuber. Little backstory thing. And I, I do think this is honestly great. This is a great, you kind of see the P logo, um, the P letter, excuse me. You kind of see the bro fist, which again, if I immediately, you know, kind of like use Vanoss as an idea, the bro fist is very iconic to PewDiePie, right? Like it's in his intro, it's in his like outros, whatever, like, or outros and whatever, you, you know the bro fist to be PewDiePie, right? So for me, I'm gonna easily put this in the S tier. I think it very much so deserves it. Um, the more I look at this, I'm just like, yes, I, I'm comfortable with this S tier list so far. And I'm still looking at Shroud. I'm like, does it deserve to be there? I think it still does. We're going to say okay. And let's go on to the next one. Now, next up is Valkyrie. So for me, this logo is actually pretty dope too, right? If you don't really know Valkyrie as a person or like a personality or like our favorite things, swords are one of our favorite things, right? So the fact that the sword is all... Uh, pfft, English is hard. The fact that the sword is also implemented in the design itself, super, super dope immediately, right? You kind of got the V-shaped uh, wings as well to kind of get that idea of the V logo in there, like the V icon or V like letter in there. The sword, very personable. For me, it's easily going to be in the A tier. There's nothing much else for me to actually say or how to actually get it toward an S tier. Besides the fact that, you know, the animations, everything like that are super, super dope. I just think like it's great, but that's that's almost it, right? It's a, it's a great. It's great. There's nothing wrong with great for the record. It's great, but it's not S tier yet. And that's my only reason because like, that's all I got. That's all I got. Okay, so next up will be the Ninja logo. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good mascot. For me, it kind of gives an idea again for like the three different colors, right? That kind of like, there's not too many highlights, too many shadows, that idea of that kind of mascot. I think it's a little bit outdated. And like, for some reason, like eSport logos, if you type in eSport logos on Google, you kind of get that vibe or that kind of like genre of like style. This kind of style, like when it comes to like Ninja logo, or if you look at the, uh, like the Nick Merckx logo, right? It's not very like crazy highlighted and like textured and shadowed like that. So right here immediately, I'm like, okay, that's great. This is a great style for me to actually appreciate. So for me, I think it's a really great execution. I'm going to go with A tier. Um, I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's great. I, I, my, does it deserve to be an S tier? I don't know. I'm going to say for now, I'm going to say A tier is pretty, I'm confident in the A tier for that. Let's go on to the next one. Sidemen. Okay, this logo, it's great. It's a great logo. It's the idea behind it. It's, it's simple. It's simple. That's what it is. It's simple. It gets the job done. And that for me is not like a problem. It's a, it's great, right? But it's it's nothing too, it's nothing extraordinary. 
So for that reason, I think I might even just put this. I feel like I might get slack because I, I watch all the videos, right? Like I literally watch all of them. Like recently I started getting into them like a couple months ago. I watch all their videos. They're great individuals, but I feel like the logo itself doesn't really sing in like the way I would want it to or hope to. And to be honest, I do think it might be an ongoing problem. I don't know if you guys remember their old logo, like the banner kind of like thing going down, like a nice little simple banner idea. That logo itself as well, I felt it just wasn't connected to them. I feel like it might be just an ongoing idea and maybe they're just not like, like using a specific logo. They just kind of like like the idea of using different types and then using it for like merch, stuff like that. I just feel like that's why it belongs in a C. I feel like there's no real concrete, like this is why it deserves to be like the iconic Sidemen logo. And for that, I do think a C is honestly fair, but also I'm just kind of like almost kick them to like a wake up call. Not to say they're gonna watch this video, but just like kick them to a wake up call like, it could be easily better. I don't know how personally, but there's definitely a way to communicate like Sidemen them into an actual cool type concept. So this is a tough one. Uh, iconic. It's iconic in its own right. All these logos are, like I said, again, are super iconic in their own way. But if we take the iconicness away and like that whole idea, the mascot is great. It's a great, I, it's a great style for the record. There's also come, like literally different, multiple hundreds of different kind of styles for mascots. This one for me doesn't speak for me or or speak toward me in that way. Okay, you want you want me to you want to point out what I just completely would never ever like. I once you see it, you will not be able to unsee it for the record. Okay, so. When you look at the kind of like zigzag, like lightning strike, right? That's supposed to be like the idea of their eye kind of like moving and like it's like following the light and it's like a little cool little zigzag lightning strike thing. That's dope. However, the line artist here for me made it look like the, the f it made, <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, why? It's not that funny. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. It just made it look like they're like, they're stuck. <laughs> It makes it look like the, the lightning strike is like stabbing his eye. Like it's like getting, it's like peeling his eye. This right here, like right, this line, this line right here, that extra line makes it look like it's piercing, right? It doesn't make like it's like a line kind of like zigzag, like a following light. It makes it look like it's piercing. Also, this one like two pixel, three pixel dots in the middle, it just, it, it's like he's staring at you like this. Like weird, it's kind of weird. I don't know, it gives me that kind of weird vibe. Now, to show you what I mean though, I did see a concept on Twitter get tweeted out. Also no, this is not like a plug or whatever. It's just literally a concept I saw, right? I'll put it up for you guys as well. Like it, the idea, look at the lightning on the eye. The, actually the style as well is a little bit in my favor. I think I like the thicker strokes and like the thicker line work idea, but also look at the eye of the original, or excuse me, the uh, newer concept and how the light kind of makes it feel more like it's following and not poking the eye of the actual lion or tiger or whatever, right? That to me speaks more of an idea of how I would see or or, or how I would more professionally, not professionally execute, but just like execute the idea a little bit easier, a little bit better. So for that reason alone, I think this logo deserves to be in the B tier. I it generally can use improvement, a better execution. That's not, that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. So next up is Lyric. Lyric is a Twitch streamer. He doesn't really, I guess, you know, kind of like a YouTuber Twitch streamer thing, right? This logo is actually pretty dope. Now, if you don't know Lyric as a person, his favorite thing in the world is his two cats, um, or just cats in general, I guess you would say. And the cool thing about this for me is the actual cat in the R is his cat Nana, which I think is like pretty, I think that's the name of it, um, which is pretty personal, right? It's really, really dope and actually sings as that. It's the same exact kind of Scottish fold, kind of like cat shadow negative space thing. So it makes perfect sense. Um, we're gonna throw this into the S tier. I think this is an honestly S tier logo, I think. It's very personable. You, you immediately can see this R alone as this little cat. You can easily see his cat. And then you kind of like, this is Lyric, right? I feel like that is dope. And that for me makes it an S tier logo. Comfortable with that for sure. Now we're almost done here and Dream. Now we're almost done here. Dream is our next up logo. I think this is a logo. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you guys. This is easily gonna be in the D tier. It's iconic and it's what you, know, you see this little green background and that little weird squiggly thing, stick man thing. You know it's dream. That's good. That's great. But if we're taking all that away, this is dog shit. <laughs> Summit 1G, another iconic person, another simple 1G kind of concept here. But if I'm being completely honest, this is there's this nothing. I don't even know if there's anything you honestly could do with this logo. Like, I don't know what else could you do besides one and G. Like if someone came to you as an artist, a logo artist or an artist in, in general, right? And was like, yo, can I get a concept that said L or one G, but like kind of simple and clean? What else would you even do? 
I think I'm comfortable with it being in the C tier over like B tier. Maybe B tier. I don't know. I just feel like there's not anything. There's nothing else you can do. I feel like there's nothing you can do. Um, I'm just going to say, yo, B tier. Let's go last person. So Lulu Lovely is the last person we have here. And this logo is so, so, so dope. The color scheme, like the, the whole idea behind it. I think the more I look at this logo, I, I generally just fall in love with it every single time I look at it. But of course, this is L, this is U, this is an upside down U, and this is another L. If you guys couldn't see that as you know well, but it's honestly so dope. It's very iconic, easily can be placed on merch, easily can work with it because all the different colors. This is like, this is a dope logo. I have nothing more else to say, but this is easily for me an S tier logo. It's, it's, I don't even know much about the actual content creator themselves. I just know their logo is honestly dope. And uh, I feel like you won't be disappointed watching them either. But can like anyone else agree? This color scheme goes so hard. It's honestly so beautiful. I, that's, 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 that's dope in my opinion. I feel like it can last a very, very long time. So uh, I'm comfortable with that being the S tier. If I look at this all, as it is right now, I think I did a pretty good job. I, there's gonna be people out there who don't agree, and that's a perfectly fine. It's everyone else's opinions. I feel like I gave a, a brief explanation between like each one. I feel like can easily maybe you can see where my head's at, right? This makes sense to me. Hopefully, you don't crucify me. But if you guys want to, you guys also throw in your tier list. I guess if you want me to like, or if you want to like, kind of like pick five of your favorite people here, or whatever, and like tier list them yourselves be kind of fun or if you agree with my opinions and, and if you maybe if you just hate one opinion you want to tell me i would love to know um but other than that i think we're done here that is gonna be it for today's video here today i think it was pretty fun pretty informative it was just a different kind of type of video um also like i said before i would love to know if you guys would like to do another one of these so i would need more of you guys to throw me some youtubers that have cool logos or like not great logos or just logos in general uh, or branding in general that you think would be kind of fun to me to also rank um that's it that is going to be it for me today. I love you guys so very much. Seso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I love you so very much. And uh, yeah, we're done. I, hopefully, I don't get crucified with this, but I love it. Love you guys. See you later. That's all I got. Wait, the more, while I'm editing this, the more I look at this ninja logo in A tier, it's not really making sense. I might, I might have to move this to S tier. Like, secretly us, we're moving this to S tier. What else can a ninja be, bro?